Hey, Alison Verhalen here with AV Writing Services, and today I am talking to you about the content gap. What is it? Why should you care about it? And how do you identify your content gaps so that you can show up in more online searches? A content gap is when your target audience is searching for something and they're not finding the answers to it. There is not already a lot of content out there telling them the answers to the questions that they're asking. So you could have some content out there, but not a whole lot. So that's where there's a content gap coming in. And I talked about this in my blog post with my own experience, trying to find a credit card, a business credit card that was not American Express. Everyone wants you to use American Express. Well, I love supporting my local small businesses and not all of them um, accept American Express because of the higher charges. and. They've gotten a lot better about that. More and more places do accept American Express now, um, but the recommendation is still that you bring a backup card if you do have an American Express card, and I don't want to do that because the whole point of getting a business card is to separate my business and my personal finances, and if I can't do that, then what's the point of having a business credit card in the first place, right? So I couldn't find it. I, I searched and searched for answers on how to get a business credit card that was not American Express, could not find what I needed, ended up just going to my local bank where I have my business checking account, asked them personally, got what I needed, I'm all set. But that is an example of a content gap, right? I was looking for something, I had a need that was not getting filled by the content online. Now, American Express is gonna be fine without my business, right? They're a huge company. They, they don't care that I went elsewhere, um, but what about your business? If you're a smaller business and you can't, your target audience can't find you, that can be a really big problem for you. So how do you get in front of them? The other reason this matters is because there's a ton of content already out there, right? So if you are just covering the same topics that everyone else is covering, you're not gonna get in front of your target audience because there's so much content to compete with that you can't compete just by doing what they're already doing. You have to find that content gap and answer the questions that no one else is answering. So that's why your content, that's what a content gap is, that's why it matters. Uh, now, how do you identify a content gap? Number one, just ask. Ask at networking events, ask your, your current clients, ask your prospects. This is a great way not only to identify content gaps for your marketing materials, sometimes you can also get great product and service ideas out of it. Sometimes people want something that they don't know that you offer, or maybe you don't offer it, but you could offer it, and it wouldn't be you know a huge thing for you to add that to your, your offering. So let them know about that and have that conversation. Just listening can be such a great way to get those ideas. So that's number one is just ask. Sometimes it really is that easy. But number two is do your keyword research. And I talk about this all the time is you've got to do your keyword research to make sure that the keywords you're using, again, have a fairly high search volume, but not a whole lot of SEO competition out there. That's a content gap. When you find a keyword with a fairly high number of searches, not a whole lot of content, that means your target audience is asking about it. They're looking for, for solutions to this. Um, but they're not finding what they need because not a lot of people have already covered that topic. That's a content gap. Go for it. Fill in that gap for them. Create that content and put it out there. So for every one of these tips that I'm providing, you always want to go back to doing your keyword research before you go ahead and start creating your content because maybe people are asking you stuff at a networking event because you're there and you ask them, and so they're, they're gonna bring up these questions for you, but they don't necessarily go and, and search it out themselves when they're uh, at their computer or on their phone or whatever. Uh, so always, maybe there is a ton of content out there that does answer that question. So you always want to go back to your keyword research before deciding to go ahead and write that content. So next up, um, so you've done your keyword research, you are going to want to make sure, again, with the search intent, and I covered search intent in its entirety on a whole other blog post and video, so I'm not gonna go into that in depth right here and now, um, but you are going to want to make sure that you are putting the right keywords in the right content so that it's getting in front of people 
when they want that content, right? So if they're looking for how to do something, that's gonna be a great blog post. If you're telling them how to do something in a, a product or a service page, that's not what they're looking for right now. They're not looking to be sold to, they're looking for information on how to do something themselves before reaching out to a professional to do it for them. So always, always analyze the search intent and make sure that those keywords are going in the right places. So for example, uh, if a financial planner, if they're looking for financial planner, they're looking to hire someone. If they're looking for financial planning, if they're looking for uh, wealth management tips, they're looking for tips. They wanna know how to do something themselves. So that's gonna go into a blog post, not so much on, on the sales page. The sales page is gonna have the financial planner. Again, the planner, that's not gonna go in the blog post because that's not what they're looking for. They're not looking to hire, they're looking for the information. So you always want to make sure that you're getting the right content in front of them at the right time. And search intent is key to doing that. Finally, analyze your competitor's content. What are they talking about? What topics are they covering on their blog? There's probably a reason, especially if they're getting a lot of traffic, if they're very well known, if they're an influencer in your industry, there's probably a reason for that. They're probably identifying those content gaps so that they can show up in searches, get more traffic, convert more leads, all that good stuff. So never, ever, ever copy your competitor's content. I say this all the time, but it, it always bears repeating. Don't just copy and paste because it's just not a good strategy. I mean, not only is it rude, but it's not, it's gonna backfire you on you because Google doesn't like that and Google will catch on and your audience will catch on because they'll know that that doesn't sound like you. They'll know that that content came from somewhere else. They'll be able to tell that it's not authentic. And the more digital we get, the more we care about authentic content and authentic marketing practices. So always, always, always keep that in mind, write your own content. And again, go back to your keyword research. If someone wrote about something on their blog, um, maybe they didn't do a great job that time of identifying a content gap, or maybe it's an older post and it was relevant then, but since then there's been a ton of content covering it and so it doesn't really resonate with people anymore. Um, or maybe it, it doesn't make sense to try to rank for that particular keyword anymore. So keep all of those things in mind. Do your keyword research before going and, and creating your content. And that is it. Those are all my tips for for conducting a content gap analysis. Like I said, it is super important for showing up in searches in this world where more and more companies are, um, are, are investing in content marketing, in blogging, you've got more and more content. Literally, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's literally millions of blog posts being published every day. Every day we've got all this content coming out and getting published and being thrown at us every time we go online. So it's all about how do you stand out and finding those content gaps is really key to standing out from the competition and creating content that is relevant to your audience and provides value to them. And that's what you need to do if you have any chance at all of A, getting in front of them, much less converting them into customers. So that is it. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can find us at avwritingservices.com. We have a whole bunch of blog posts that um, address all kinds of content marketing topics like this one. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can ask me directly at info at avwritingservices.com. That's it. Have a great week and happy marketing.